We're talking about the ongoing as to strike, members of the youth parliament in Ondo State have urged the leadership of the Academic Staff Union of Universities to review the industrial action in the interest of the country's education system. The youth also challenged the federal government to meet the demands of the striking lecturers in the interest of the students. They made this appeal at a sitting in Akure, the state capital. Ayo Deji Murade reports. The strike embarked upon by members of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, has paralyzed activities in universities across Nigeria. The lecturers, among other demands, want better funding of the education sector. This issue and many others came up for discussion at a sitting of the Ndo State Youth Parliament in Akure, the state capital. The youth want both parties in the industrial dispute to shift ground in the interest of the students. The Speaker of the Parliament, Smith Ikumakpa, you said the strike has crippled academic activities in the universities. So, and the federal government that they should come together, should sit down and have a roundtable discussion on how to find a lasting solution to the demands of ASU. They should look into the demands and ASU should also please compromise too. They might not get all what they want for this, for the interest of the average student at home that is at the receiving end of this their action. Starting to look like um, a prevalent thing in Nigeria surrounding our educational system where the government have to force lecturers, teachers to go on strike affecting the education of those youth. It's really quite unfortunate and we can only still continue to plead and look up to the government to find a way around. The young parliamentarians also urge youth to take charge of the political space. They agree that more youth are venturing into politics, which they say should be given more pull. The monetization of election is the demonization of the youth. It forces the youth to the corner and ensures that they look for every means possible, especially those interested in the act of governance or leadership. In a workable policy that will be able to elevate you know, the standard of living of young people in this community. And I think that um, demography, young people, is a very critical segment of our society that we cannot afford. Parliamentarians also agreed that aggressive participation in voter registration is of paramount importance for the young ones to take charge politically. Ayodeji Moradi, or TVC News, Akure. The appointment of Professor Adibaya Bamire as the new Vice Chancellor of the Abafemi Awolowo University Leife has been greeted with protest by some Ife indigents who want an indigent by uh, be appointed into the office for the first time in 61 years. The protesters vowed to continue the protest until their demands are met. Uh, Professor Adebayo Bamire, the current Vice Chancellor of Academics, is an indigent of Oyo in Odoti, local government area of Oshun State. Our correspondent, Rafi Hamid, reports. Obafemi Awolowo University, OAU, Ileife, was established in 1961. It has had 11 vice chancellors, and the tenure of the incumbent, Professor Iyutoke Ogumbodedi, ends on the 7th of June this year. In line with tradition, 16 persons applied to take up the job, and after necessary steps were taken, the pro chancellor and chairman of council of the university, Owele Oscar Doji, announced Professor Adiba Yobamire as the new vice chancellor. In line with the provisions of the university's miscellaneous provision amendment act as amended, the report of the selection board was considered by the council, which after a careful and dispassionate review of the report, decided to appoint Professor Adebayo Simeon Bamire, a professor of agricultural economics from the Faculty of Agriculture of Bafemi University Lefe as the Vice Chancellor of the University with the effect from June 7, 2022. But this was immediately greeted with protest by some people, especially the indigents of the town. They said an indigent of the town among the contestants must be picked as a successor to Professor Itoko Yogumbodedi. The protest continued on Friday as they shut the entrance gate, preventing movement of vehicles in and out of the university. Carrying placards with various inscriptions, the protesters vowed not to allow academic activities to take place. I've been leaning with the OU community for 61 years. We own this land. Our fathers gave this land. 
this soil is ours. If we cannot produce a substantive vice chancellor for 61 years, we have failed. So what we are clamoring for is that for the period of five years, just a single time, test if we are somebody that can do it. Yesterday we are here just briefly, but today we are here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday we'll be here. We want to show them that we actually mean business them around. We are not saying if they if we are saying if a federal constituency after 61 years, this is the 12th VC that they appoint. We are going to fight it to the last call. We are not saying there's no appointment there, but they should go back to the team and become his VC. The new vice chancellor is the current deputy vice chancellor academics of the institution and is expected to resume his new office on the 7th of June this year. Rafi Hamid, TVC News, Ilaife, Ocean State. And that's it on the news this hour. Thank you very much for watching.